A Green Country family finally gets to say goodbye to their loved one after 39 years of waiting. Army Chief Warrant Officer Donald Juan went missing in action during the Vietnam War. Today, the Muskogee soldier was laid to rest. News on 6 reporter Lacey Lowry has more on his long-awaited funeral new this evening. Our heroes should never be forgotten. Donald Juan's family has been waiting for his homecoming for four decades. Welcome home, Don. So much time gone by and still so much pain. I was proud to know Don and I was just crushed the day I got the word that he'd been shot down. That day was June 1st, 1971. Juan had joined the Army so he could fly helicopters in Vietnam, and that's exactly what he died doing. Shot down during a rescue mission, his body never found. Decades later, an American search team finally located his remains. He saved my bacon many a time over there as a gunship pilot. He was a guy that was making sure that I was safe when I was down in those holes. So he cared about us, we cared about him. He was the go-to guy. And when you sort of think about it right now, he still is. You know, we know where he's at. We know he's home, and we know we're going to see him again. Juan's wife and daughters never gave up hope on finding him and giving him a proper burial. His girls, Shannon and Michelle, were his life. And I want to thank Shannon and her family for their sacrifice and say welcome home, Don. And on behalf of all the folks here, the crew members from the 128th, uh, we just want to say how delighted we are that you have your daddy home. Home at last and closure at last for his family. Donald Juan was buried with full military honors. His final resting place is here at Fort Gibson National Cemetery. Lacey Lowry, the News on 6. Juan is survived by his wife, brother, two daughters, and numerous grandchildren and great-grandchildren who now know the final chapter of the grandfather they never got to meet.